Hey everyone, how's it going? Uh, I got all my water cooling parts in today. And so what I'll do is just do an overview of all the parts that I got for my first water cooling build. So without further ado, I'll go ahead and get started. Uh, first thing I guess you guys noticed is all my fittings. I went with coolants. Uh, we got half inch inner diameter by three fourth inch outer diameter uh, compression fittings. So very nice and pretty heavy duty too. So I'm just kind of surprised about. We've got 12 of those. Go down here, we got six of the uh, 45 degree angle swiveling fittings. Um, this is the version 2, I guess the first version. They're having some problems with restriction, but as you can see, it's pretty bored out pretty well. So I don't think I'll have to worry about that anymore. And that's one thing they said that they fixed. Moving along down here, we got a 90 degree angle swiveling adapter. Now, this thing's cool. Like, you do a whole bunch of stuff. You turn it, I only got one hand, so it's going to be kind of hard. Um, but yeah, you could turn it, you could, you know, do like a snake pattern, you could do anything, but what I really like about this is, is unlike the other 90 degree angles where it's really sharp and a tight bend, it's really wide, and so, uh, that's gonna make a flow a lot better. Okay, moving on up, we got the, uh, Coulant's 3x120 millimeter radiator. Um, this is a 30 fin per inch model. So I recommend anything above 1850 RPM fans and up. This um, really gets its benefit from a high flow fans or a fan with a lot of static pressure to push that air through. On the side here, we got the infamous Mayhem's Aurora Nebula Blue Coolant. Thought I'd try this for a little bit. Uh, some things I gotta say about this stuff first for if anyone's looking to buy it. Uh, this stuff is probably only good for about six months in your system. And then what I'd do is I'd uh, drain it out and put some new one in or anything that you want to do. And uh, it's not really made for a really high restriction um, build that you're doing or any low parts in your build or anything like that where the particles could settle down. Um, that's a no-no. And you also need a pretty powerful pump. So um, I'm going to give it a try. And uh, in about three months or so, I'm going to drain it out and see uh, what the uh, leftover is, if there's any uh, damage done to my system or anything like that. Um, so I'll keep you guys updated on that, but I can't wait to put that in. It looks awesome. Over here we got the Alpha Cool System Reservoir uh, clips for my reservoir tank. Moving on over, we have the Coulant Motherboard MVR40 uh, MOSFET water block. Over here we got the uh, Coulant um, nozzle base for my um, reservoir. Let's see it. It's uh, pretty heavy duty. I like that. Um, can't take it out of the packaging, but I really like it. it's got the two plugs. It's got uh, a couple options here. You can either go from the side or uh, from the bottom. And uh, I like the, uh, where is it? I thought it had a cool on slow though. Anyway, but yeah. Nice. Moving on over one, we got the uh, Cool on CPU 370. Wow, this thing's which I was looking at for a long time now. Um, I really like the looks of it. Um, love that it's nickel plated and uh, it just looks awesome and it performs well so I went, went ahead with this one. Uh, over here we just got the uh, fill port for my reservoir tube and look at the o-ring fell off. So we'll go ahead and put that back on. Okay. This is just the um, MOSFET water block plate that you need to buy separately. Um, this doesn't come with the plate that you need um, to go under it, so you do have to order that separately. Um, what you have to do is measure your thermal pad on your stock heat, heat sink, and then just go ahead and size it to the one to buy. So in this case, um, I bought one pretty long. Okay, for the pump, we are using the Coulant PMP450S. Uh, this runs at a, there's no variable speed knob on this one, but uh, it does run at 12 volts all the time. And a good, the awesome thing about this one is that you could do, you could put a uh, 24 volt DC adapter on it and uh, make it really haul. So I mean, this thing will be like having two of the normal variable speed ones on speed four in a series when you put the uh, 24 volt mod on there. So, um, you know, that thing will push through any loop. Moving on over, we have uh, the GC Gelid 
Extreme Thermal Paste. If you guys haven't tried this stuff out, this is the best stuff. I'm telling you right now. Um, I love this stuff. I love the Gellar, the company. They make awesome fans, and um, as well as Thermal Paste. So if you guys uh, want, you should check, check them out and uh, try for yourself. Okay, uh, for the uh, water block for my GPU, we went with the Watercool GTX 670 um, heat killer um, GPU block. Um, I, I wanted to go with Coolants, but they don't make a block for 670, so next best thing. And this uh, block <clears throat> had really good uh, reviews for temperature. I guess it's really, uh, really a good uh, block. And uh, it's a very thick, heavy copper, too. So there's a lot of copper on there, so it makes the heat. Uh, conductivity probably a little more. Only reason why I didn't go with DK was because um, they just had a really weird uh, way of connecting the nozzle. They had like this fitting that you have to put on there, and then you have to buy like another 90 degree angle fitting just to have it go up. You know what I mean? So like if you wanted to attach it um, from like your CPU to your GPU, you would have to use basically a 180 degree bend just to attach it. So I didn't like that. So um, I changed it and decided to go with this one. Um, as far as tubing, we got the Thermo Primo Chill um, LRT um, half inch inner diameter, two fourths inch outer diameter tubing. Uh, it's really good stuff I heard about, so I uh, decided to go with this. It's actually really flexible and like rubbery feel. I'm really surprised. I thought it would be really like stiff um, because it's got a pretty big uh, inner diameter walling right here, which is what you want uh, if you're doing tight bends and stuff. And uh, this makes it really good. So I can't wait to use that. Okay, for our uh, pump mod top, I decided to go with the uh, Bits Power pump mod top. Um, I guess just to bring this out, uh, there's just like a whole lot of variations that I wanted. And uh, this had it, you know. Uh, what I was really looking for was one that was had an inlet and an outlet on the uh, front side here. So you could just go, since I'm going to have the pump on the bottom, I was thinking, well, I could run the tubes in through the little hole and have it come out the same side, too. Because as I have the 140 millimeter fan um, right above it, you know, any tubes coming out the top, I don't think would have cleared it. So um, this one had it, so I decided to go with the uh, this one. And last but not least, we just have my uh, reservoir body tubing by Coolants. Take it out for you. Um, it says, warning, do not use any alcohol-based liquid on this. Um, maybe some people don't know, but if you do use any kind of alcohol bit liquid on your um, acrylic uh, uh, reservoir, it will crack and it will look like glass. It will just completely dry, out, dry it out. So, little heads up for you guys. Okay, so over here we just have some miscellaneous items. Um, this is just extra stuff that I thought would help me out. Um, of course, we're going to need some uh, distilled water to flush out the system and all the parts. And uh, you also need 500 milliliters of this to mix with the uh, Mayhem coolant. So I just went ahead and got some of this really cheap. Uh, over here, what this is, is a flavor injector for food. I think if you ever watch like, the food channels, they use this all the time. And what I was thinking was, if my reservoir is really... Um, high up in the case where I can't get a bottle to fit over it, then I'll just use this. And uh, you can pick this up at Target. Um, I went in there, I was uh, originally going to get a turkey baster, and uh, this was right next to it. And I was like, you know what, that's going to work out perfectly, and it, and it holds a little more fluid. I think this one holds 30 milliliters, but you could probably fill it up a little more. Going over, we just got some uh, funnels, um, just for maybe uh, um, getting it on the tube reservoir, or uh, maybe putting liquid in the radiator when we flush it out. And this was right next to this as well. Up here we just got some bucket um, just to hold the liquid and various stuff. Um, now this is cool. Um, this I got at Home Depot. You could also get this at uh, Orchard Supply. It's cheaper at Orchard Supply actually. Um, but this is a tube cutter and this makes it really nice and clean cuts. I just got some extra tubing over here that I'll demonstrate that I picked up at Ace. Um, but I mean it's just just cuts right through his stuff. Really simple. And this is some thick, really stiff tubing. And uh, cut that no problem. So just something a little handy if you guys um, don't have sharp scissors or something. This is, would make uh, cutting tubing very easy. 
Okay, so for now, guys, that's about it. Um, I'll have everything, a lot more videos to come. I'll do as film as much as I can for you guys and a whole process of this. And um, I'm really excited, and I hope you guys are too. And I'll see you soon. Bye.